Welcome back to the NDS. We are here at race 25 at Night Stalker Raceway Park. Take a quick look at qualifying. Things will get ready to go here. Regular season finale. Everybody's going to be all out. So pace car off. Field coming down the front stretch. RS Fast and 11 leads the field to green to kick off the Roblox 400. Whew. Several drivers behind the 31 who are desperate to make their case for playoff racing. The 2, the 51, the 3, 16, 18, 5. Ever seems like everybody's got a chip on their shoulder today. Big wide racing out back at the top ten. The 08 of BS Fashion Eleven on the low side. Giving it all he's got for this one. The nine of Logan as well. Out front, the two taking the lead. Want to be second, third, RS Fast and 11. I see everyone's getting relatively in control here, single file, but they still like to race hard. Misty, Misty Viper needs a good day today. Other drivers like Duke and Hyper, they're just cruising around knowing that they have it, have the playoffs on lock. Let's take a look here. Not what the 18 wants to see. The guys he's trying to race are just the ones doing good. Which could be the beginning of the end. Five of Landon has a really good corner. Getting around there. Have 18. Puts himself in a good lane finally. The 52 sees what the 08's doing and has to try to keep up. That's how it works. They're slowing down for. Oh, a big incident in the back. As it looks like the 31 gets to the front there. They got to get this sorted out before they hit the uh, back of the field here. The three kind of pitting in front of the 31. Alright, we'll have to go back and see that. A little. Technically, the 31 made the line first, but what's the caution for? God damn, that was big. Let's just do the pace car trick. F4 Ace goes around on the front stretch. Really what that was for. Vader, nowhere to go, and then they just... Whew! Big congestion volley in it. Several drivers getting the damage there. Let's go helicopter cam on the seven of Ace. You see exactly what happens. 
But 10 of that one racer just going ham on the outside. But Ladion doesn't quite give them the room they need. And that's what happens. Yeah, you see them contact in front there as well. Several drivers get by. Not so lucky is another pile up. Born ready. Notably, a driver back there. Now, the 27 of Born, like, he'll make the playoffs, but he's currently in a tight battle with Mizzou for the regular season champion. And it looks like the 27 dodged a bullet there. 66 with an extended stay on pit road. Kind of get bullied into this pit stall by the 91. More contact on pit road. The 52 on the way out, 39 on the way in. That causes a bit of a chaos there. Seventeen has a pretty banged up ride, not sure what they're gonna do there. Coming to the one to go. Volley seems to be the only car out of the race. Lap cars include the sixty six still on pit road. I think the only lap card really is going to be the Puff and Cannoli after that showing. We'll see how the 17 does on the restart. Green flag goes back in the air. 16 gets a good jump. But now they have to try to train it around the 17 or else that falls trouble early. It's a miracle how a 17 is even still, you know, going out there. He cuts it in front of the 11. That is, oh, I think the Puff might be taking a pitting cycle now. Several drivers coming down pit road. Five drivers pitting now. Hmm. Back to the action up front. We see the 52... Doing what he needs to do. Another playoff driver who has implications that might flare up. As see the 16 and the 3 battling for the lead. The 16's in the top 12 points currently, but that could very well change, even though with a race like this, the 16 still has a good shot to making it in. But two of Jake dodged a bullet there with the lap car on the restart. But running 14th, you have to wonder. Not really safe for the two. I mean, one bad wreck could really put you down the running water. As we see several drivers now. Not sure where they come out on track with the pit road incidents, but you could check on them later. The 18, still going hard. The 08 knows that the 52 is ahead. He has to catch him. That's likely is the only driver that the 02 could best on points without needing a win. Or 08. As the 3 of Frosty Wolf just completely checked out for the lead. As the pitting loop is in full swing for five cars. Never seen anything like it. You know, 10 cars cutting through the field like butter. Alan Racer putting on a strong showing here today. Being rewarded handsomely for it. As the 17 comes back out on track. And nearly takes out the 2. 
that would have been potential playoff implications right there. Mizzou. BS. Huh. This is the first time we've been to this racetrack, and, you know, I didn't expect this many drivers to be stuck in a pitting loop, so the fact that playoffs are on the line with several drivers completely throwing the race away, that's just NR for you. Let's see the top two going hard right now. RS Passing 11 has caught up to the back of the three, just needs to find a way around. If the 31 can get this third win, he'll propel himself to being one of the best drivers entering this playoff grid here. As the pass for the lead on Frosty Wolf has been made. So, if these two go hard, who's in third place? CS currently. Jake's made some moves up as well. And Team Duke's just riding around fifth place like, oh, hello there. BS Fast and Eleven's giving it all he's got, but I don't think that his best will be enough. The five of Landon doing what he needs to do. Let's check out on those drivers that are winless, though, because that could be an issue here. KSS, BSS. Remember, he's not doing as, you know, like, he popped off, but doesn't want to drop the ball now at the regular season finale. That would be tragic here. Six of Misty running inside top ten. And Krugemeyer's 16th place run is so far so good. Uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news for the 9 and the 18 teams, but mid-pack runs aren't going to cut it in the scenarios they're given. Uh, what a depressing season. There's seven and a half four ace. The two of Jake up to fourth. Who's getting away for third? Landon third. Making himself probably gonna win rookie of the year. If if I had to bet the five has the has the bite to do it. The top two still as far away as ever. And Misty Viper putting on a damn good drive. Let's go back to that four team. Whoa, Zents. Whoa, that's not the line, buddy. Born Ready and Zents nearly make contact. And Zen's having to go through the infield grass. He comes back up. Though, he's fine. As now he's racing the 68 for some position. But back to the topic at hand, the four car of KSS BSS. This is nightmare scenario so far. As he hits the 54 of King. KSS could be in trouble. Fred Jones in the wall. Several lappers. Getting disruptive there. That's even worse for the four car. And if the scenario plays out. This could ultimately be the benefit. Of the 08. Who is putting in. A good enough run. Well, with everyone else having good runs and the four car not, maybe the 08 could use a wild card that falls to him.
Whoa. More close shaves there with lap cars. 86 of Fred Jones. Had a run. Oh, gets rammed by the back of the 16. And the one as well is now all the drivers using pit road. It is the pit cycle. But he's been green long enough. As long as the field stays green, then things should cycle out appropriately. We have some drivers trying to stay out extra long here. The two of Jake taking a swing at it. Eleven of Duke. Fifty one of Wannabe. Wannabe comes in this time. I think the forty seven of Dump Truck is in as well. That just leaves the two and the eleven. No, they're in as well. So everything should come out the way it came in. The three gets a good jump on pit road on the 31. Not sure how many more stops they have left in them, but it's going to be still quite a lot of racing to go. They now be a good time to talk about sponsor segment. Roblox. Online game that's free to play. Everyone knows Roblox. That funny, I play funny jailbreak, but uh, I don't know what else to say, man. It's just Roblox. It's free. I miss tickets. I'm going to go get more Robux on my Roblox account. Alright, back to the race. The three car. Still as strong as ever. As the 86 and the 39 are both out of the race. What's that all about? The 39. The 39 had a run in with the puff. That's what's going to take him out of the race. And the 86 of Fred Jones, I think he might have already been damaged. So, he's out now as well. Oh! Oh, this could be some playoff implications right here. Remember the 32 making... Remember the 16 making contact earlier? That is proven to be very disastrous for the 16 team. As now, an unforeseen error has occurred in their performance. Something that they might not be able to afford. As the 16 team is now turtle slow on track. So though, Frosty will first, RS second, Landon third, Hyper fourth, Jake fifth, Misty sixth. One of the East Lamp top ten. Vader, a lap car, just kind of running his race there. But the cooker has good position, though. Don't ask how it happens. With lap cars leading there, not sure how lead lap guys are going to get around them. Let's take a look at this pass of six is going to put on the 19. There's now the battle for lead kicking. Back up, the 68 is a lap car on the field. 
You know, one at a time for the 31, it seems. One at a time. 31 can make it back up on track whenever the 3 gets too comfortable on pit road. There's a 16 team. Too slow. And now a three taking a long way around the corner. That's a big mistake. To sell the next car to lap for the 31 team on this long run. I'm not sure if a three can hang in there, but he'll try. I just think the 31 has it down pat, though. Nothing I could really say here. Born Ready has made up a decent recovery from where he once was. He's running 21st. But I think the zoo has better track position. That would put him in 16th. Another driver is the 4 of KSS BSS running 31st place. That's a bit of an oof right there, but let's see if the 4 car can survive, especially with the prevalent issues on the 16 team now. I have a big battle for third here. Yeah, just those yellow posts that make it look like it yellows out, but not not really. Just all green, all all the way around the racetrack. Hyper got that position though; he's up to third place now. Landon taking the higher line around as his lap car is not making his job easy as he falls to fifth. The 52 taking care of business. O2 driver is just like having good runs, but if it was consistently better, could actually be inside the top 30 in points, but kind of a shame. Wasted potential of the O2 not running road courses. Might have something to do with it. As this 34 is still given to 5. Crap. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Smoke on the front stretch. That's a caution. That is a caution. It's the 8 car. Vader involved. Oh. Yeah, I, he, I don't even think he was a part of it. Caution for the 28 of Kyle D. This, this is something right here. Kyle D just, he didn't think the 08 would be there. Is Kyle D spinning out. BS Fast and 11 getting by with minor damage. Toad Warrior hitting it. God. And the eight of Vader evolved as well. Three smashed up cars. 
Okay, everyone else getting around the 28 team. Ooh. Oh, boy. We'll see a mixed strategy on pit road for the first time this race. God damn. The retired, there's so much, like, pitting shenanigans going on that the retired cars are taking forever to cycle to the bottom of the leaderboard. That actually is stupid. It's funny. So I have 24 cars in the lead lap. Seventy-four of Jerry was the one stuck in a pitting loop. Forty-seven of Dump Truck is running inside the top ten right now. Ben McDonald, Logan. If this is, there's a time to throw it into overdrive, I think now's your chance. Thirty-one of ours, fast in eleven, currently running seventeenth, off of some bum-ass pit strategy. Kind of fucked his day up, but what are you gonna do about it? Coming to the restart. Green back in the air. The two of Jake could use himself a win here to reassert himself into a driver who'd go far in the playoffs instead of being a one trick pony. As, he, as with his recent skid, has fallen completely outside the top 12 in points. Three of Frosty Wolf taking care of business. Several lap cars are just, it's lapping time. The 52, Canadian Lux, did make his way out there, so that's a strike against the 08. The top four kind of strung out. Battle for fifth, now one racer. Goes hard here. The 10 car goes strong with 18. Needs this. Needs to turn down into the corner. Needs to make an aggressive move. But I think he's going to get it. What he. And at least try to get what he wants here off this corner. Using the lap cars as picks to make up position. That's the best I could do here. Top three all in a line. Caution's out. Another one. Any big playoff driver moments? Um... 99 of Arn, not really a playoff contender here. But the 54 of King did come up on the track to disrupt the flow of racing. The 99 of Arn spitting down the track as other drivers disruptively hitting the wall. 91 suffered a bit of damage, but still with a great run on the lead lap is fine. But who's not fine? The fi the five of Landon is not fine. After an unexplained trip down pit road, this could be the nail in the coffin for the five team. The nine team as well has also, with an unexplained pit stop, kind of Put the final nail in the coffin for their playoff hopes. Yeah, the nine team looks done right now. They just don't have it in them. With the shuffling of positions. We could see some interesting scenarios play out. 
perhaps. Last car on the lead lap is Arn, still on the lead lap. Oh wait, not doing what he likes there. That's now have a 3, 2, 11 out front. This could get dangerous. Reflect back underway. This time the stronger lap cars have filtered their way up with these guys. That could provide a bit more disruption through the field. Now the 11 of Duke definitely feeling it, trying to shake off the 19 car. Big wide. Several drivers going all for it on the corner. Several drivers are trying to survive the corner here as well. The 52, among one of the drivers whose objectives survive, currently doing pretty good for himself. At the top three, all under a bucket. Team Duke making the first move for second. With limited laps left, now's the time. With a low side run there, just trying to get the momentum he needs down the straightaway. Mizzou in fourth could capitalize here. The Team Duke on the high side. Three and four. They're going to try and run it down into one and two. Just like that. Doing what he needs to do to get by, at least. Ben McDonald running 7th. Looking for more position here. Looking low on Racer. At this point, not sure if he can leapfrog all the way up front. We're on lap 61 to 69. Team Duke kind of slid back. And now Jacob is 2nd. But 3 cars still... Class of the field. Like, this is what we need going into the playoffs is another solid run. The two car trying everything he can to get up there. Don't think it will be enough. Run good on exit. You could try to sneak up there. Let's see what the damage is. That's a more aggressive line lower through one and two. That might be the key. Jake definitely ganging ground here. Last time by the line, 27-7, 27-5. Needs a good run off the corner, and that will be what you need. Oh, the three slips up, the two. Enters the lead. Team Duke. Comes in for second. He stands off. A little bit though. Kind of letting the high side do its thing. Slips back in line. The two. Now playing a defensive situation. Doesn't want to make the same mistakes. A 
looks like the three might have less pace than the two. That that could be good for Jake. Team Duke in third, running his line, doing what he needs to do. As he was trying an alternative line to get around him. Three to go. I think the three had a good corner that time. Don't think it's over yet. Frosty Wolf on the high side. If Jake gets good off the corner, exit two to go. On exit. Not sure if third place has anything for him. If the top two are starting to fall back there. But it's still a very close run here. White flag in the air. One more time around for the two team. Yeah, the good one and two. Just hold off for the final time. Through three and four, Jake will win the first race at Night Stalker Raceway Park. Certainly an experience. Oh, man. Hey, yo, what, uh, hyperdrive, what happened here? Uh, huh. This is the cooldown lap. Everyone was just so excited that they just started crashing. Damn, so happy for y'all. They were all so excited they decided to crash, but the 68 did not want to have any part of that. And that insult to injury, the fucking 16 car blew up after a checkered flag. But for the drivers who did do a good job, here is the final score from Night Stalker here. Some drivers were stuck in a pitting loop so intense that they forgot to pass the cars that DNF'd before them. Don't ask why it scored the way it is. That's just how the scoring is. That's all we have for today. See you next time when we go playoff racing. Take care.